And my name is Geoffrey Clarkson, and um, I'm an Aucklander. Come from Dunedin, so I'm a South Islander originally. And um, in the last 30 years, since leaving rock and roll music, I've been working in music, which helps people to relax and relieve stress. I teach people to meditate now. Medi a simple meditation daily is a very good recipe for good health. This instrument I'm playing is a kitar. <clears throat> I use very high-tech um, equipment, so I'm able to write the music at home and create an arrangement um, which will play behind me, you'll hear it, and I'll play this instrument over the top, rather like singing over the top of music, but it's instrumental music. Um, I'm using a sound source which emulates real acoustic instruments, so it's, um, this is not just a keyboard you play with your ha with a hand, I play like a guitar in this hand, in the left hand, and I have an attachment which I blow. So I can make it sound like this. Um, so it's a very expressive instrument and uh, it's kind of exciting and fun to play as well. And so a lot of the music that you'll hear coming out of the instruments tonight is music which I heard when I was very young, around about the age of two, three or four years old. So it's kind of bringing it back. <laughs> and I've used my childhood as an inspiration in the music. And it's so appropriate today in this day and age where we are so, some of us are so wanting to be more in touch with our childhood Anyway, I go walking in the Pariwa Cemetery because the Pariwa Cemetery is the only place to walk in Meadowbank unless you want to walk on the street in the morning and there's so much fumes and things coming out of cars that you, you die. <laughs> anyway, um, so the Pariwa Cemetery is a very beautiful place and, and I think if you go walking, it, if you try walking in a cemetery every morning, there's something about it that wakes you up. <laughs> it bring, makes you come alive. <laughs> Well, the first day I walked in the cemetery, it was very alive. There was, there was a slight breeze blowing and the trees were doing a little dance and, and the little propellers on all the gravestones were spinning around and there were little butterflies and birds, little fantails, piwaka waka, flying around the place and um, little swishes of white light, you know, like you'd go to look at it and you'd follow it and then another one would go over here and I'm sure these were the little elves and fairies that inhabited and you see I, being so grown up and adult, I have lost my ability to see them very clearly but I still am very aware of these little entities getting around the place and they seem to frequent um, um, cemeteries and those sort of special places where people are. So, did you know the f that in the Pariwa Cemetery the population is 45,000? <clears> it is, yeah, a lot of people in there and they all come out sometimes and uh, it's good fun. It's good fun. So, walk in a cemetery, it's full of life. Um, so, here's the piece of music I wrote called The Fairies of Pariwa.